Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. How friction is necessary for movement, e.g., walking, driving. Answer. Title. The essential role of friction in movement, walking, and driving. Introduction. Have you ever tried to walk on a slippery surface, like an icy sidewalk or a wax floor? If so, you probably realize how challenging it can be to maintain balance and move forward. Without slipping, the difficulty arises from the reduced friction between your feet and the ground. In our daily lives, we often overlook this fundamental force that's essential for almost all forms of movement friction. What is friction? Friction is the resistance that one surface encounters when moving over another. It acts as a force that opposes motion. While friction might seem like an inconvenience at times, for example, when it causes wear and tear on machines, it is vital for most of our routine activities such as walking or driving. How does friction aid in walking? When we walk, we're essentially falling forward with each step and using our leading foot to stop us from tumbling down. This action requires grip or traction between our feet and the ground, provided by none other than friction. As you place your foot on the ground, it pushes backward. Against the surface, this action follows Newton's third law, which states every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Thanks to frictional forces acting against this push, your foot doesn't just slide back, but instead grips the ground, helping you propel forward. Consider wearing socks on a highly polished floor. There's very little friction between these two surfaces, making them slippery against each other, resulting in difficulties while walking without. Slipping. How does friction assist in driving? Friction plays an equally crucial role when it comes to driving vehicles too. When a car moves, its tires need sufficient grip with the road for two primary reasons. One, to move forward. When you press down on your car's accelerator pedal, engine powers up transferring energy through drivetrain towards wheels causing them to rotate. If there were no friction between the tires and the road, wheels would just spin in place like when a car tries to. Move on icy roads without propelling the vehicle forward. Two, to stop or slow down. When you apply brakes, your vehicle slows down and eventually stops because of the friction between brake pads and wheels inner surface. At same time, tires also need to maintain grip with road surface, thanks to friction again, preventing them from skidding or sliding. Real life examples. In sports like soccer or basketball, players often wear shoes with special soles designed to increase friction for better speed control and quick directional changes. Similarly, race.